So a Molag band, um, back in the day, there'd be um, six to 12 people and they would um, travel around the village, basically singing and playing music um, pretty loud and pretty raucously. Uh, the idea being getting some pennies from people um, to stop them, stop them from singing. So a Molag is a inflated pig or sheep's bladder. Um, sometimes tarred um, and used as a boy um, for herring nets in the, in the sea. So um, at Christmas time, um, when the shop windows were decorated and when the towns were all busy, that's when the Molag bands would uh, be in action. So there'd be plenty of people in the town and plenty of people looking around um, and they'd come round with all their singing and all their dancing and they'd entertain all the crowds, a bit like street entertainment, and hopefully get some pennies for their for their troubles. So as part of their entertainment, um, they would have the mollocks on the ends of sticks. And while they were parading through the town, if anybody got a bit close or uh, if anybody showed a bit too much interest, they'd get a clout round the head with the mollock, which I'm sure was a bit of a shock. Um, I'm not quite sure how that would go today, but um, yeah, so the Mollocks would be on sticks. I guess that's where they got the name, the Mollock Band. So as well as um, parading down the streets and entertaining the people who'd be looking in the shops and all that sort of thing, uh, it'd be very unlucky for you if you left your door open, because if your door was open, the Mollock Band, quick as looking, would be in your house. Uh, all this would be going on in your front room, in your house, and you'd have to pay them to get out. And the same as the shops. So um, if they came into your shop, uh, they'd fill the shop and no one else would be able to get in because they'd be singing and dancing so you'd have to pay to get them out um, otherwise it'd be chaos. So uh, as well as the singing and the dancing um, there'd also be a little skit, a little bit of entertainment and it sometimes was a bear so the bear would respond to the instructions from the conductor so the bear would drop down dead and he'd jump back up and he'd salute and all sorts of things so uh, yeah the bear was a great part of the entertainment. So although Christmas is obviously based in it, you know, around religion, it's a religious festival, there's always two sides to Christmas. There's always the religious side and there's always the side where people are just going crazy and have a little bit of fun. Um, we can still see that today and Black Eyed Friday is quite a good example of that. So history is not always just the, um, the pretty bits and um, you know that sort of thing. Sometimes you do have traditions like this that are a little bit chaotic and a little bit crazy. So it's really good actually to do this and hopefully maybe other people will get involved and who knows we might get more Molag bands in the future. <laughs>